showing up today at Maverick on my way to Missoula, Montana. If anybody cares, 477 is what we got. That's about the cheapest for now. And what day is it today? Uh, October 6th today, guys. Filling up for 477. Now this is really the cheapest we got around here. This is uh, border of Idaho and Washington. Right at state line at Maverick, in case you guys wonder, in case you guys care. I don't know, fuel over here has been weird. I mean, sometimes some of these places where I used to fill up, they used to be great. Now all of a sudden, even the truck stops are cheaper than some of those places in the middle of nowhere. So I really have no idea. Any more where to fill up or anything. Use the Gas Buddy app. That's that's the best thing I can recommend to you. Because using like fuel cards and stuff like that, nah, you don't you're not gonna get a big discount because you don't drive on a semi truck. There's really nothing else out there that's gonna save you a bunch except for you know, use that gas buddy app and that'll get you saved, you know, twenty cents here, thirty cents there per gallon, you know. At the end of the month you're still gonna save you know a couple hundred bucks hopefully if you're if you put on those miles that helps so i i know what home base savings is so that's what i do i, I save everywhere i know where it is because i drive these roads all the time if you're somewhere new you need to fill up gas gas buddy it's a free app i would download it today uh loads picking up out of missoula montana delivers back home to spokane supposed to be today deliver direct but i have a feeling that that place is not going to be accepting deliveries after three o'clock that's what they told me the last time i tried to deliver something here they wouldn't want to take it and then it took them a while and they finally accepted it just because i don't know they said we're not going to do it again just so you know which is okay you know if they're not going to do it again then what's going to happen is they're going to have to pay me a layover and that makes the driver more money so it's all good in the end i'll be happy 200 miles there 200 miles back 400 miles and for some reason you know i got blessed today i'm not gonna say i got lucky i got blessed i didn't even want to go but we bid the load for 600 dollars and we got it so for 600 bucks 400 mile round trip i think it's a pretty good deal otherwise i i, I didn't want to go so you know sometimes out of these bad areas like spokane you know you can get lucky slash whatever you would call it I, sometimes even i say the wrong thing you can get blessed out of a bad area and get paid a lot better than versus coming out of a area like seattle or you know another big city like portland or something else we'll take all the blessings we can get You guys ever seen a windmill one of the propellers in real life i'm sure you haven't but here it is look at this thing it's huge <laughs> it's enormous how do you drive with that i don't you know that's a pro i tell you whoever drives with this thing How do you control that at the end and that in the front? Somebody explain that to me. Yay, we almost made it. 3.6 miles left to go. Missoula is just as nice uh, in town as... I no, don't want to get pulled over by this guy watching everybody. Got to keep the camera down. I don't know if they have the same rules about holding things in their hand. Roundabout, take the second exit to Boulevard. Going straight. Yeah, he's not after me. He kept going somewhere else. I like those kind of cops that don't, you know, don't pay attention to me. 
All I'm doing is working, you know. I ain't doing anything wrong. And if I am, it just needs to be, you know. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Anyways, nice and beautiful here. Great weather. Um, they're a little colder than what we than us in the daytime. It's 72 now, and it's two. Whatever is this? 2:11 p.m. But nevertheless, I mean, it's still for October, for mountains, for Montana. This is nice, 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 nice weather. I'll take it any day because it could very well be snowing here tomorrow. It's very unpredictable out here, so that's just something that we deal with when we come out here. Never know when you're going to get snow, especially through the passes. Heck, I've had snow in July through uh, the pass, right past Butte.
been a student but hey one day if he sticks to it he might be a good forklift driver one day for now I'm out of here I got a direct delivery back I don't know what all that noise is back there whatever's inside that box is all something's making noise in there it might be driving me crazy Good old Missoula, Montana. Everything's building, everything's growing, everything's upgrading. New stuff is coming up as far as buildings and not just buildings, I mean everything. If you guys haven't been here before, you guys can take a load as well. I just recommend that if you don't have a adequate dispatcher, shouldn't say adequate but let's say an experienced dispatcher experienced dispatcher anywhere a load will go to Montana they will automatically calculate all miles for you to the next bigger better place which is depending where if you're like in Billings then you know or Belgrade something like that then they'll you know they should they should add up all the miles and pay you all the way to Salt Lake from there if it's like, you know, western side of Montana, then all miles paid to like Seattle. You know what I mean? If, if a load goes nowhere, then you got to go to the next biggest, biggest, better city. And an experienced dispatcher, they'll know what to do and how to do it for you. We know. And hey, if they don't pay, then, you know, it's not worth coming here and sitting for days and days and days and days until something maybe comes out of here. I mean, sometimes loads do come out, and sometimes, you know, sometimes some folks get lucky, but for the most part, it's a one-way trip to Montana. Montana, you know, eastern Washington, you know, anywhere in Idaho, up north over here, all this stuff. It's, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful, beautiful everything, but it's a bad place for loads, just so you guys know. That's why... You know, that's why these loads over here pay so much because there's no vehicles here and we're the closest in Spokane to coming deadhead over here. So when the miles are paid, you know, we roll and go get it. But if they don't want to pay the miles, then, you know, that's too bad. They're, they can LTL it. And a lot of times they do LTL it. And LTL just sucks because, you know, it'll get there when it'll get there. That's the thing. And it could go on a train, it could go on a truck, could get reloaded somewhere. Basically, LTL can take that, you know, that load, load it up, and it'll make its way cross-country somewhere and then turn around and come back if it needs to be. LTL is kind of funny. Other part about LTL is they do not insure 
insure the freight. So LT, if you ship LTL, that means uh, the only depends on who you go with, but most of the companies they only pay a dollar per pound in case something goes bad. You know, say it gets damaged, it gets lost. Well, dollar per pound. If your load's 500 pounds, you only get 500 bucks out of it. And that's it. Not really worth it for exped expediting. You know, you cover up to $100,000 or whatever the insurance needs to be, and that's how it works. But LTL is funky, and some some people have been writing messages saying LTL pays more than than these sprinter loads. No, it does not, guys. LTL does not pay more. LTL pays if a third of the price, if. So, just so you guys know. We've unloaded and I'm out of here. Super quick, super fast. Usually they don't accept deliveries until three, they said, but if it's forward air stuff, I guess that's their exception, apparently. So, just got it off the van and I'm out of here going home. I thought I'd be getting a layover today, but no, they took it. Apparently forward air stuff can, you know, drop any, any time over there. Anytime while they're open or, you know, but usually if it's just a regular thing, what does this have? Nothing. They took all the wood from there, just all the huge pieces. There's a tree cutting place over here. I have a video about that too, where I had a cancel from <laughs> from these guys, and then I went and got wood at least. So yeah, it's okay. It all worked out because the load then came back the next day, or was it Monday? I think that was Friday, and then the load came back Monday. It all worked out for the best. So today is a good day. Um, it usually does not pay that much. We usually do the Missoula ones. I mean, we've done them. We've done them for 400 bucks. Um, when the fuel prices went up, we've done it for 450. I've driven there and back for 500 before. You know, it always depends on how I feel, how bad I want to get out of the office, and. You know, and, and, and how how slow it's been if I do want to get out and go, you know. So there's a lot of things to consider, but for the most part, I don't have to go. I can sit in the office, dispatch, and, and make that same, you know, make money, you know. I don't, I don't have to hit the road. So a lot of folks have been asking, like, hey, can you do... Can you add up the math and you know let me know how much weekly you make and how much how much monthly you make and after your expenses and this and that it's not fair if i if i do it because i'm not on the road all the time i only hit the road maybe once a week maybe twice a week maybe once every two weeks so you know some might say well that's not worth it then you know it's it is and it's not. There's still money left over in it. Plus, I get to go, get out, do a video for you guys, you know, get out of the office, get to clear my head, so on and so forth. So it's it's still it's worth it. I wouldn't say that it's not worth it. It's worth it. There's still there's still money to be made. Plus, those times where I get out and then get something else, then something else, you know, load after load. When I'm heading home, you know, and then I don't make it home because there's things out there. So sometimes this middle of nowhere can pay because usually the drivers do not wait out here. There's no point for a regular expediting driver to wait for two days, three days, one week, maybe two weeks in Spokane, in Montana, in Idaho somewhere for a load. It just doesn't make any sense. Somebody's going to just bite the bullet, pay the fuel money and just, you know, get out and go for gas money to the next biggest better place but experience dispatch will not send you out and just leave you there you know otherwise we don't even get the load so we do pay you all the miles to the next place hope that makes sense for you guys and if your dispatch does this to you send you somewhere in the middle of nowhere where there's no freight then you guys need to find a different dispatch 
go work for a different company or tell your if you really like them tell them to you know do it right and send you guys somewhere where all miles are paid to the next biggest city where there is freight coming out of there i hope that makes sense thank you guys for being with me i appreciate it sorry for the glare and the sun maybe that helps yeah half my face you can see appreciate you guys without you know without you the channel wouldn't be here you know without me you'd be watching somebody else so you know it's mutual i thank you guys the ones that are loyal the ones that watch the ones that subscribe you know all the subscriptions all the comments all the likes they all help to expand the channel expand the growth expand the views and everything else then it gets you know hits the right algorithm inside of youtube so but the main part i do this is because you know the people that are looking to get started with somebody that want to do this you know hopefully they come and work with us that way they get the they get the best treatment as far as you know work wise be part of the family so if you guys want to come enjoy the team always in every single video i believe unless i screw up i leave the email address in the description so if you guys want to come be a part of the family you're welcome if you got an extended high roof sprinter like the one i use you guys know what i use you see it in all the thumbnails and everywhere else so you guys know what kind of van is needed you know don't don't ask me about the nissan nv van don't ask me about just regular cargo van it needs to be at least 12 foot long inside to hold three standard size pallets 48 by 48 and it needs to be a high roof at least a medium roof i might you know we might consider it but high roof and an extended van that's the best because if you guys go with a short van you're going to regret it lots of people regretted it lots of people tried to go trade it in and it just doesn't make sense don't don't waste your money unless you already have it somebody gifted it to you or you're using it from a previous business maybe construction or something else then yeah but if you're going out there and searching for a van only extended only high roof and never a dually do not buy a dually because the pallets do not fit between the wheel wells duallys do not work for this if it's a standard size pallet and it's 48 by 48 if it's a 48 by 48 it will going up today a maverick on my way to missoula montana if anybody cares 477 is what we got that's about the cheapest for now and what day is it today uh october 6th today guys filling up for 477 and this is really the cheapest we got around here this is uh border of idaho and washington right at state line at maverick in case you guys wonder in case you guys care i don't know fuel over here has been weird i mean sometimes some of these places where i used to fill up they used to be great now all of a sudden even the truck stops are cheaper than some of those places in the middle of nowhere so i really have no idea any more where to fill up or anything use the gas buddy app that's that's the best thing i can recommend to you because using like fuel cards and stuff like that nah, you don't you're not going to get a big discount because you don't drive on a semi truck there's really nothing else out there that's going to save you a bunch except for you know use that gas buddy app and that'll get you saved you know 20 cents here 30 cents there per gallon you know at the end of the month you're still going to save you know a couple hundred bucks hopefully if you're if you put on those miles that helps so i i know what home base savings is so that's what i do i, I save everywhere i know where it is because i drive these roads all the time if you're somewhere new you need to fill up gas gas buddy it's a free app i would download it today uh loads picking up out of missoula montana delivers back home to spokane supposed to be today delivered direct but i have a feeling that that place is not going to be accepting deliveries after three o'clock that's what they told me the last time i tried to deliver something here they wouldn't want to take it and then it took them a while and i finally accepted it just because i don't know 
they said we're not going to do it again just so you know which is okay you know if they're not going to do it again then what's going to happen is they're going to have to pay me a layover and that makes the driver more money so it's all good in the end i'll be happy 200 miles there 200 miles back 400 miles and for some reason you know i got blessed today i'm not gonna say i got lucky i got blessed i didn't even want to go but we bid the load for 600 dollars and we got it so for 600 bucks 400 mile round trip i think it's a pretty good deal otherwise i i, I didn't want to go so you know sometimes out of these bad areas like spokane you know you can get lucky slash whatever you would call it I, sometimes even i say the wrong thing you can get blessed out of a bad area and get paid a lot better than versus coming out of a area like seattle or you know another big city like portland or something else we'll take all the blessings we can get not fit between the wheel wells if it's a dually so please no duallys <laughs> 